So now that we've finished working on this system here and have pretty much gotten everything done, I wanna go ahead and show you guys the previous system, the one that was up and running before this one was put in place. Now I'm gonna warn you in advance, it's a jungle in there. Some serious business in there. It hasn't been running for a little while, so uh, bear with me. Boom, oh my goodness, like Armageddon up in here. Boom, I'm gonna give you a quick tour, just to kind of scope it out real quick. Obviously it hasn't been running in some time, but I still wanna give you a quick breakdown and show you how this old, uh, old system was operating. So what we're gonna start with is I'll start with the pump and the sump tank, which was here. Um, of course, here's the pump here. This is where the pump was at. Now it came here <clears throat> and then it, it split it up. It split uh, both ways. I took the pipes off. So let's let's go ahead and uh, reinvent this real quick to help get some clarity. Oh, it just fell in the water. Oh well. It split this way and split this way. This is this is the way going towards the tank. It comes up here. Voila, voila, voila. Each one of these had their own ball valves. There's a four tank system set up here. Four tank setup. You can see there's a flow meter on this one. Um, and then here. So this is the tanks here. Underneath here, voila, this is where I would keep the separate stage because in aquaponics there's a, a, a minimum of three phases. This here is the phase where the, um, the uh, fingerlings would be growing out. They would grow out here before they even get up here. You don't put them up here in this first. This is not where you start, start them first because it utilizes, it poorly utilizes space. So you start them off in something like this until they get around the right size. I keep them in here till they're roughly around 30 grams, 50 grams, somewhere in between there. And then boom, put them up in here in this system. So this was that. Here is another area here where I would have larger fingerlings. I'd have them grow out in here. Um, previously I was using this as a, as a breeder tank also, um, but then I switched it out and put it as a fingerling, um, grow out tank. So come in here, here's another area that I would have for, look at that. I can't believe there's a little, look, he's not going to make it. Wait, let me see, man. You're messing up my shot, man. Let me see if we can save him real quick. Cause he ain't going to make it. He wasn't going to. He wasn't gonna make it. Let's see, let's put him out, man. You thank me later, my man. So this is another area here that I use for um, the quarantine. If I brought any new fish around here, I'd put them in here first. And then we can come back over here to the other side where the split's at. So I told you there was the pump here. We'll make sure I can see. There was the pump here. It would split over here it will connect to some piping that will come right around here. Boom, 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 boom. It will come underground here. We got it away. And it comes up here, splits on both sections. These split, but they're both, both of these are both hydroponic components. So they would split here and then it would come up here to each one of these. And of course I have ball valves on here and you can see some of the ones that didn't make it. Woo, they didn't make it. These are the last of the Mohicans, man. They didn't make it, but it would split here. You can adjust these uh, uh, valves here. Boom, and then it just goes the length of this. Boom. Same thing over here on this section. It goes the length of this. Boom. Now I want you to notice something. I want you guys to notice something. This here, the, the water tank volume is identical to the system that we just built. But as I told you guys before, when you have, you're using an NFT setup, the water level in here, this is not a lot of water that's running through here. There's a thin volume of, uh, 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 a thin strip of water. So you can grow more plants because the nutrients concentrate much more. You can see the growing space here is at least two or three times bigger than the, the deep water culture setup that I have over there. Keep that in mind. It's much bigger with the same volume of water. This is what I was telling you guys before. Um, and you go through some of the previous videos and you can see that. So I was able to grow much more in this setup here. Much more, much more vegetables in this setup here. Two or three times as many vegetables with pretty much the same water volume. But 
also there's also uh, cons that come with it this is a much more difficult system to maintain and to work with but i started out you know i got really good with nft setups so these became uh much more easier but the deep water culture setup is you know the floating raft is just it, nothing compares to it with ease of operation the nft is going to be much more harder especially for some of you guys that are just starting out this is something you probably don't want to get in here dealing with because a lot of the times these things here you know they'll clog up they'll clog up you got to come out here adjust it open up the, the uh, flow and then allow the water to escape along with you know whatever debris that's built up in here so the filtration has to be immaculate immaculate for these type of setups so let's come down here real quick and um, this is where it would go to it would exit out here you can see it exit it would exit down here then it would make its way right on over here both of these this one too boom come on down over here i had it hooked up i had this elbow thing on here let me see if i can put it here and then i had another elbow going here boom and it would just make its way all the way back there through the jungle through the jungle and let's see if we can if we can go ahead and show you where it ended at it would make its way all the way back here er, boom where it would come here and it would return back to the sum tank now obviously obviously when i was operating this thing all this mess wasn't all the way you know it wasn't all here the grape vines and all this other stuff that stuff wasn't here a lot of this started growing i had uh, killed a lot of this but this is what happens if you you know you don't maintain it it'll grow wild and grow all crazy so oh one thing i didn't show you guys the outlet of the fish tank the outlet of the fish tank so let me see if i can get it right here boom so this is the outlet of it there's a a pipe that connects up here that comes all the way up here and brings it out it's a um a solid lifting overflow and it brings it out here comes down all of the um the tanks connected to it they all connected it came here and you guys remember that i used to have a separate filter here it would come here and it would come right into a radio flow filter it would come into a radio flow filter, remove the larger solids out, boom. Once it removed the larger solids out, then it would connect to another filter that was right next to it, a trickle filter, which had a mesh netting on the top of it. It would get out those fine solids and then it would uh, drip down into the, um, uh, the biological filtration portion of it, of the trickle filter. And then that's how that pretty much would work. And then from there, it would just make its way on out and then that part would go back to the sump tank now right here you see there's lines up here i've used i took a lot of these off the lines up here for the um this is for the aeration i could just connect it up here um and i had hoses connected to it. you can see some of the hoses right here connected to it and then boom this is my other regenerative blower that supplied the oxygen um i had this hooked up right here boom connected right here blown up and then these tubes here were also connected to the regenerator blower and then it would connect down boom 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 make its way right on over here through all the wilderness into the mineralization tank and there's still some solids in here that are mineralizing Woo! check it out you can barely see it in here let me see Ugh. move some of this out of the way so there's a lot of solids down there um I had aeration hooked up to that and um, I was able to use any of that for whatever thing uh, I deemed necessary a lot of times I used it I pumped it up here and used it for my seedlings I use it for the seedlings in here to grow these up because they need nutrients as well as they start to reach a certain length the seed has a certain amount of nutrients already um, that's inside of the seed there's already a certain amount of nutrients to let them grow a certain length but after that they need more nutrients or they're gonna start showing nutrient deficiency. So this is pretty much the breakdown of it. You can see, man, this is it. This is the breakdown of the old system. It was running for, I say a good year and a half. A year and a half I had this system set up here. Yeah, give or take about a year and a half, somewhere around there. Had a lot of good memories with it. It worked, you know, pretty well. I say it worked pretty well. Um, these right here, I'm never doing these again. I'm never doing these again. You see all this? These PVC pipes, you know, they they work. 
they do work. You can get them to work. It takes a lot of tweaking, but there's nothing like the manufactured um, uh, NFT channels. There's nothing like it. These do the job, you know, um, when you're on a budget. I use these because practically I had drilled so many holes that I just didn't want them to go to waste. You know, I've drilled over 5,000 holes by hand. 5,000 holes by hand. Just drilling. This here is probably like 200, just in this little area right here. It's probably about 200 and 250, maybe somewhere around there, 250 holes, just in this area right here. So I'm never using these again. But, you know, they did, they served their purpose. And, you know, I was able to grow. I was able to grow and, um, you know, get, it, get, get vegetables out of it. You can see, look at this, man. This is just a shame. And I'm not using that again either. The conduit, you know, I told you guys about this in a previous video. This thing just, you lose a year off of the plastic when you use the conduit. So I just, I'm just going with the, with, with the manufacturer stuff for now on. I'm done playing around with this, with the, with this type of stuff. So, um, yeah, like I said, these right here, the other ones, the manufacturer ones, they're going to be flat. They'll be flat. The problem with these ones is that, um, you want the, the, um, the water tends to like pool up in these things. It tends to pool up in areas and, um, and it pretty much will cause cloggage um, once the roots begin to um, start getting bigger. So the flat ones are just much better overall. They're just much better overall than these here. So like I said, man, this is it right here, man. I'm gonna miss this system. I'm tearing this whole thing down. Take this out, man, it's getting hot. I'm tearing this entire system down. Um, and I'm going to just, this whole thing is gone. I'm gonna take, tear this whole hoop house down I wasn't gonna do it at first, but you know, I'm just tired of looking at it already. You know, it's, this used to be, this hoop house here used to be, was a setup that I used when I um, had my commercial operation. This is the place where I had like my ceilings, my display, where people would come in and they would um, pay. This was the area here. This was the area here. And then obviously I got tired of that and then start building more systems in here. So what I'm gonna do is take this here. I'm gonna take these tanks. And the next thing that I'm gonna get ready to do is I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna use these for the fingerling grow out phase. Fingerling grow out phase. And I'm gonna use it for breeding tanks as well for the tilapia. So I'm gonna move all this here and I'm gonna move it over to the shed that I have over there. It's gonna be all inside. That's the next part, uh, next phase that I'm gonna be working on. So with that being said, hopefully you've got a chance and you've enjoyed the old system here that I showed you. See it one more one more time. And um, hopefully you um, learned something from it. You learned the setup, got a little insight on what it looks like. I think I'm gonna use these lights too. Take these down as well and use these in there. Cause these work pretty well, to be honest with you. So hopefully you've got a little insight on the old system that I have. You know, this is not my first, second, third, fourth. I've built so many systems. Um, but this is just the latest system here. So once again, I'm just happy to share this with you guys before I tear it down because after this, there's no more. Woo!